Hi, my name's Mark. I'm gonna talk about Docker today. Um, for those of you that don't know what Docker is, I'm gonna give you a quick overview of it. And um, I think John Michael Oswald's gonna do another Docker talk right after mine, so you get like a double dose Docker uh, lightning talk round today. Um, so uh, Docker is a virtualization layer. It's like really lightweight, uh, super cool. Um, basically, it lets you do uh, containerizing uh, of your application and services. And you're like, well, what's a container? Um, well, a container is kind of a service unit. And you can think about it as incorporating all of the parts of your application that need to exist in order for you to provide a given service. So like, for example, if you have a database engine, then you would probably containerize just the database engine. Um, and uh, one of the neat things about Docker is, is that you can actually mount file systems and share them across uh, containers. Um, so uh, I've already mentioned a few of these things, but it's really intended to be like a cargo container. So if you think about uh, cargo containers, they have a standard size, they have a standard shape. Um, you don't really care about what goes into them, right? Uh, the only thing that people that use cargo containers care about is how easy it is for them to load them onto their ship and transport them around the world or um, you know, put them on the back of a train or uh, something like that. Um, but basically the idea here is that you wanna pack and ship and run your services really easily, okay? All right, um, so it's written in Golang, um, it's pretty cool. It uses some Linux technologies called uh, Linux, uh, LXC and AUFS right now. Um, there's a rewrite that's in progress. It's supposed to be coming out sometime in the next couple of months that's gonna probably use B3FS, which is a little bit better supported on um, a bunch of different Linuxes. Right now, the canonical Linux to run Docker on is Ubuntu, um, and that's just because it has nice packages for all this stuff. The virtualization overhead is super low. Um, it's basically zero. It's pretty neat, um, and it provides a completely isolated environment. So. How do you actually use this thing? Well, um, I, wrote a, I wrote a Docker file this morning um, when I got here, and uh, I just wanted to show you what it looks like. It's pretty straightforward. Um, the neat thing is, is that you can see that you kind of start out with a from, and what that means is this is my base image. Um, so I wanna go ahead and do all the work here, um, and then I'm gonna run a bunch of different commands to actually set up my environment, um, like check out stuff from GitHub and stuff like that. Um, so I, I, what I decided to do as my example was, um, you know, I'm a gamer, and I really like Dungeons and Dragons, don't judge people. Um, and uh, so I, I wanted to write a service where I could uh, uh, supply a dice roll and I get back my result. And so um, I decided I'd go ahead and write that um, in Python. It turns out there's a really nice dice rolling library in Python, it's pretty cool. Um, so this is it, I called it Dice Service. It's on GitHub, you guys can play with it too if you want. Um, all you have to do is check out my GitHub repo and get your Docker installed. You can build your own container um, and then once you do that, you go ahead and curl a, um, a post with your, your die roll specification um, to the assigned port, and um, you get back a result, and it's pretty cool. Uh, Docker is like GitHub for file systems. It supports push and pull primitives. Um, it makes deploying your services super easy. Um, it completely isolates your environment. So um, it's kind of like a virtual env on steroids, except it's a complete virtualization container. Um, and it faithfully replicates your environment for development and testing. So it's super handy for you to be able to pass this container off to all these different parts of your company. Maybe they're not parts that you're directly involved with, so um, it's neat. And it's also really fun. It's a, a pretty new technology. Um, so this is where you can get it from, docker.io. Um, there's also the index.docker.io. Um, it's like the CPAN of Docker images, or PyPy if you like. Um, it's uh, also on GitHub, the source code. And um, then if you wanna play with my dice service there, and um, thank you.